All right, Casey, can you tell me what is the most exciting play in all of basketball? <sighs> dunking. Dunking, Casey. I can't dunk. I've tried all my life. I mean, just look at this. In order to dunk, you will have to fight the forces of gravity itself. With the short amount of time that your feet touch the ground, you need to create enough force to lift yourself to the basketball hoop. For most people, this isn't doable, but in my dunk school, I can show you everything you need to know to be able to dunk. Today, we will analyze the amazing abilities of Jack Hudson to identify the key areas you need to focus on if you want to put that basketball in that hoop. Jack is a 20-year-old guy who grew up poor on the streets of Southborough, Massachusetts. All he had to his name were the clothes on his back and his basketball. Jack would practice at the community basketball courts every single day and got stronger every time he stepped onto the court. Jack's leg strength increased so rapidly that after a few weeks of practicing, he was able to dunk a basketball. Although Jack is very tall to begin with, he still had to reach a force of 847.8 newtons to be able to reach the hoop. Jack's love for basketball continues, and he says that it will always have a special place in his heart. I've taught Jack everything he knows since he was a small boy. He's the top student at my dunk school, and he is here today to help us teach you kids to be the next great Jack Edson. The circumference of a basketball is 29.5 inches. Jack's height is 6 or 4, 1.95 meters, and his hand reaches another 0.52 meters above his head. And he has a wingspan of 1.935 meters. The height from the ground to the rim of a basketball hoop is 10 feet or 3.05 meters. So first we'll have to look at the work that Jack does in the Y direction and to do this we'll have to look at his kinetic and potential energies. Now when Jack first jumps all of his energy is in the kinetic but as Jack reaches the top of the hoop all of that kinetic energy is created is turned into potential energy. Now we can calculate this potential energy as we know the force of gravity, we know the height that Jack has to jump, and we know how much Jack weighs. Now, Jack weighs 81.64 kilograms, and the difference between the height of the hoop and Jack's max stretched out height is 0.58 meters. Now using this information, we can calculate that the potential energy Jack has at the top of his path is 464.04 joules. Now. With this information, we can take that and plug it back into the kinetic energy equation to get that Jack's velocity is equal to the square root of his potential energy divided by one half his mass. And that comes out to be 3.37 meters per second in the y direction. All right. Now that we know the amount of potential that Jack has at the top of his path, we can use work to calculate force. See, work is calculated by force times the distance times the sine of the angle in between, and that is equal to Jack's potential energy. So if we take Jack's potential energy and put it over the sine times the distance, we'll get the force. And in this case, that comes out to be 847.8 newtons. Now we'll look at impulse. Impulse will tell us just how quickly Jack can get off the ground. Now, impulse is equal to your final momentum minus your initial momentum for the time that Jack is in contact with the ground. Now, in the Y direction, Jack initially has zero Y momentum, so his impulse is purely equal to his final Y momentum when he leaves the ground. But in the X direction, it's a different story. Jack is running towards the hoop, so he has initial X momentum. And then when he pushes off the ground, he adds extra momentum, and that will be his impulse. And now with Jack's X and Y impulses, we can calculate his total impulse simply by doing the square root sum of the squares. And for our final impulse, we get 283.76 newtons per second. Wow, now that's a lot of power. One of the tallest NBA players who can dunk is a height of 2.21 meters, while one of the shortest NBA players who can dunk is a height of 1.70 meters. Last year, DeAndre Jordan led the league with 253 dunks over the course of the entire 2016-2017 season. In comparison, as of 2014, 
only 11 dunks had been scored in WNBA play. Now that we've seen what it takes to dunk, I'm sure you realize that no normal person can achieve this goal. Jack Edson is a powerhouse of nature, a freak if you will, and you'll need to be as well. You've seen the energy and impulse that your body must create, so you've got to hit the gym and get legs that even Jack would be jealous of. I know it sounds tough, but I, John Landry, guarantee that you can do it. Wow, Mr. Landry, you're totally right. Thanks to you and Jack, I now know what I must do. I can't wait to dunk on my own. I'll sign up for your dunk school as soon as possible. For now, I'll train at the gym and at my local basketball court. Hopefully someday, I'll be just like you or Jack. No, I dream to be better. Thanks again, Mr. Landry. These statements are not approved by any outside agency. John Landry and John Landry Incorporated are not responsible for any injuries occurred in attempts to dunk a basketball. Attempts to mimic Jack Edson are likely to lead to serious injury, and again, John Landry Incorporated does not take responsibility for any bodily harm.